Hey everybody, here we are in Haddonfield Baptist Cemetery. Why? Because I just happened to come upon it and here I am. The uh, cemetery reminds me, A, the movie Cemetery Man. If you haven't seen that, check it out. Uh, B, a long time ago I had the misfortune of uh, <clears throat> working at Kmart. And uh, what the Kmart was near a cemetery. And a friend of mine and I, we would go eat lunch together at the cemetery. That's if we had lunch at the same time. Uh, if we didn't have lunch at the same time, then obviously we wouldn't uh, be eating lunch together. Because then one of us would be fooling around, skipping out on work. But there goes an airplane. It's right behind that tree. Whatever it is. So, uh, yeah, working at uh, Kmart, uh, you know, uh, some people probably worked there and liked it. I enjoyed the work I did. I enjoyed some of my co-workers. Uh, Management? Nah, not really. Frankly, I thought they were stupid. But, uh, yeah, they were always, uh, just giving grief to everybody. I don't know. You know, if you got to give grief to somebody, just make sure there's a reason for it. You know, don't just give grief because. Hmm. Hope they fix that soon. Uh, they don't just give grief to somebody just because you want to give them grief. I'm good at giving grief, but I, I don't give it randomly. You gotta, you know, piss me off, set me off, or something. So anyway, uh, so yeah, one night they uh, had a, the manager of the store was giving me grief about something I had nothing to do with, and I'm like, you know. If I did it, go ahead and give me grief. That's that's proper. If I made a mistake or something, fine, let me hear about it. It was another airplane. Um, but I, you know, I didn't do nothing, so I didn't deserve to, uh, you know, hear any grief. So uh, I decided I was uh, going to get a little revenge. Now, what's the best way to get revenge? Well, there's lots of ways you can get revenge, I suppose. My way was to uh, walk down the street from the Kmart to the movie theater, go see the Brady Bunch movie, and then uh, walk back and then go home. You may be thinking, uh, where's the revenge in that? Well, I stayed on the clock. So you figure that's probably two hours of pay, you know. I think the Brady Bunch movie's about an hour and a half. Uh, you know, walking. Uh, trailers and whatnot. Now, uh, I guess if Kmart management uh, sees this, what are they going to do? There's no more Kmarts. If this was a graveyard of uh, businesses that no longer exist, Kmart would be in here. And uh, also, this was like 28 years ago. So, uh, and I wasn't making that much money anyway. I was a janitor, you know. And I'm not disparaging janitorial work, not, not at all. I enjoyed that work. It's a fun job. Uh, when I got hired, first I got hired at the pizza place. And uh, then they asked me if I wanted to be a grocery bagger, and that gave me a little more money. This Kmart had a little Caesar's pizza in it. Uh, another airplane. Then they asked me if I wanted to be janitorial, and that paid me 25 cents more. I'm like, well, you know, 25 cents is 25, 25 cents earned is 25 cents earned, sort of quoting Ben Franklin there. Uh, so, uh, at any rate, uh, so I said, what do I do, you know, as far as my janitorial responsibilities? The guy said, well, on odd number of hours, you empty all the trash cans even numbered hours you check all the bathrooms for supplies I said all right what about when I'm not doing that he 
said, sit in the maintenance office and wait for a call. Do what you got to do. So half a day I was reading the book. So, you know, I guess that's why I wasn't getting paid much because I was pretty much sitting there uh, reading and what have you. And so, you know, but when, when the odd numbers in the evening numbers uh, rolled around, oh, I was checking the supplies. Don't you worry about that. I may be a goofball, but I'm a responsible goofball. So, uh, you know, and then, uh, by the way, this uh, Kmart, it's the same Kmart where I uh, uh, bought my wedding ring with my uh, now wife, but that was uh, years later. So, uh, there's a little uh, maintenance equipment there. So, uh, but anyway, one night I'm back by the uh, layaway department. I got to go check the ladies' room for supplies. So I knock on the door. I'm like, maintenance. I knock on the door again. Maintenance. I knock on the door a third time. Maintenance. Nobody answers. I say to the ladies that were working at the, uh, what do you call it there, the layaway department. I said, you're my witness. I knocked three times. I got no answer. They said, sure. I don't know what they said. But. So I go in there, and uh, there's someone sitting in the stall, I guess an old lady, and she had like these. I, I, I don't even know where there was a leg. I think it was just one giant blue varicose vein. And I like saw that was like, uh, uh, uh. so <laughs> that's like, I better, <laughs> I better get out of here. This poor lady's uh, sitting on a can there. And then all of a sudden she hears somebody going, uh, uh, uh. so uh, I got out of there pretty good. Uh, and then uh, the ladies work in the layaway department, they were like, we heard you. What was that? I said, like, there was a giant, uh, I, I, I can't even say it was a leg. It was just a, a vein where there used to be a leg. Uh, you know, there's another airplane. Now that I'm laughing about that, probably when I get to be really, really old, uh, I'll, I'll probably have uh, two giant veins that uh, occupy the space where there used to be a leg. <laughs> Uh, you know, then I guess I can't say I got a leg up on the competition. I got a vein up on the competition uh, That's stupid But uh, you know It's also insane I guess but I'm walking around a cemetery telling stories about Kmart How sane is that? I guess not very anyway Thanks for watching. Wait a minute. Here comes the jersey. Oh, that's a yeah, that's a Jersey Transit bus. Thought it was a school bus for a second. Uh, but, uh, I see that's a Jersey Transit bus. There you go. Enjoy the. Thanks for watching.